Hello, welcome to my video showing you how to use JavaScript in Rapid Weaver. I'm going to be using the Swift Atlas set of libraries. Um, I'm going to link to everything you need, need, so don't worry about that. We're going to start off by downloading the library. Grab the zip. It's only tiny. Here it is. Now what we need to do is put these files onto our server. Now we do this by creating a new empty folder called JavaScripts here. Open up, and we've got to go into lib, drag over prototype, src, get everything, bring it over. Okay, we can close that off. Where's that gone? Now we're going to put this folder onto our host server. So this is my server. I'm just going to drag in wrap grab it in. Okay, while that's going, let's create a simple page. Go to new. We use a simple HTML code site. Info. Now in the header here, we've got to put reference to our new JavaScript files. I've got the code ready. This is not mine. But it works. Um, this basically says in the root directory, JavaScript folder, pro.js, we have a file, same again for scriptaculous.js, JS for JavaScript. Close it off. Now, just some very simple JavaScript to get us going. Here we go. Now, this is a very simple um, effect called puff which performs the effect on an image file. Now the image, I'm going to use one called bush.jpg, and I've got it ready here. So if I go into my FTP, I'm going to put in assets, images. The two dots and the slash means go to root at the start, so that's good to know. Assets, images, bring over bush. Give it a sec. Okay. And that's all it is to it. Press preview. And it shouldn't work. You see here we've got a question mark. That's because the bush file is located on our server, which is somewhere around the world. And this is just on my computer. So I've got to publish it onto the web. I'll fast forward this part.